Start protecting yourself on the web at nordvpn.com slash nerdalert or use code nerdalert, one word, and save 77%. If the last few weeks have taught us anything, Facebook, third-party apps, and online advertisers know us too well. Even if you didn't opt in or give your consent, these companies and more like them may know all about what you do on the internet and profit off it. And that isn't right. I've talked a lot on NerdAlert about how important your data privacy is. Your digital identity is not for anyone to take and sell and use to their own ends. It's yours. It's one thing to be attacked by hackers, but it's another to be unknowingly sold and manipulated online. On the other hand, sometimes it's hard to resist the call of free Wi-Fi. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where you can't. That's why I'm very excited to team up with NordVPN with a massive 77% discount for the Nerd Alert audience. Start protecting yourself on the web now at nordvpn.com slash nerdalert or use code nerdalert. There's a little movie out in movie theaters right now that you might have heard of. It's called Avengers Infinity War. And it is the movie that everybody <laughs> is going to be talking about today. Um, it is the lead up, the culmination of the Marvel Studio Universe. Some people might die, some people may never come back, and some people might guest star. But we're not gonna tell you any of that because this is a spoiler free review of if, Avengers Infinity War. If you wanna watch the spoiler version, it will be on YouTube by itself later. Click at your own risk. I'm gonna include a warning there too because yes. people don't seem to understand the gravity yeah. of it. There's, um. a, there's a mad rash of um, Infinity War spoilers all over the internet today and I just wanna promise that we will not be one of those people. Um, let's talk about this movie, Kim. Avengers Infinity War, um, for me as a comic book fan, really felt like a comic book event movie, which is something I don't think we've ever seen before. I Something I really liked about this is each character got their own moment, each, all of them. And there's a lot of characters. Yeah, there's like 72 movie. characters in this movie. But I think they handled it really well. Uh, that's probably not that far off, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, Do you have any, are there any characters or any storylines you think um, really succeeded, really helped make the movie better? I did like certain combinations of characters we haven't seen before and how these certain personalities would work with each other or not work, just completely bounce off each other. Um, from what I hear, it's quite different from the comic books. Oh, it's not even close. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even close. Because there's just, well, for, I mean, there's one thing they can't deal with is mm. certain characters just aren't there. Exactly. There are certain characters, of course, um, the Silver Surfer is a big part of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline in the comic books. Of course, he's owned uh, by Fox, so we can't have him in the movie. I will say um, that there is something towards the end that is a very nice wink to the original comic book, which is really cool. Um, but overall, that's something that really surprised me about this movie is how much this movie is centered around Thanos, like Thanos is the main character of okay, this movie. Okay, so Thanos is really different from what you thought Thanos mm -hmm. was. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's worried about overpopulation and climate change. He's like and, a conservationist. Yeah, he's like the ultimate environmentalist who likes to kill people. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we have different definitions on what saving the the planet <laughs> means. Uh, I I. I I'm having a hard time muddling through this without spoiling it. Oh, it's, I, well, I'll, 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 to, uh, <laughs> you know, another person, let me ask you this. Um, there were certain characters I felt that got a better storyline in this movie than they'd gotten in their own movies. I feel like really? Ga Gamora, I think, uh. has her best storyline in Avengers Infinity War. Now, at the opposite okay. side of that, I would say that they kind of made Peter Quill. Now, he has a reason for why he's acting a little bit more cantankerous and a little bit more uh, like an ass, but, I felt like he's meaner in Avengers Infinity War than he was in his own Guardians movies. Well, he's one of those characters. Um, he is a comic relief character, mm -hmm. but he's also a lead. And in using him in certain storylines, I'm so, I'm trying so hard to be vague. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just going to go that way. Yeah. Uh, one other thing I like, I want to talk about. Let's talk about Tony Stark in this movie because Tony Stark has spent the last couple of movie, moment, movies, excuse me, and moments of these movies, kind of being the villain. He was the villain of Civil War, and I was really happy to see hero Tony come back in this movie, especially his interactions with Spider-Man. It is kind of a return to, oh yeah, this is the guy who started everything and mm -hmm. why everyone's following him. He has kind of continued his role as Spider-Man's mm. dad. 
I think. Yeah, he is Spider-Man's dad. I like that. I like that a lot. He's Uncle Tony. Overall, really quick, what do you say about this movie? Non-spoilery, does everybody need to see this movie? I mean, I think you do if you've been following the Marvel movies because this is the payoff. Well, kind of. I'll get to it later. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to it in our full spoiler review. Uh, guys, tell us your thoughts on Facebook and Twitter. Non-spoiler, of course. If you spoil it, Thanos is coming for you.